What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with San Diego Comic Con 2023 coverage for you guys. Yes, we're finally back home after the trip. Enjoyed the trip, of course. Loved making all the videos, meeting everybody, talking figs and seeing the new products and reveals and everything out there, man. Absolute blast. First Comic Con in the books officially and it felt good to do so. It was an amazing trip and I can't wait to show more of that footage with you and all those different things, of course. But it was a really fun trip. I am pretty exhausted, to be honest with you. Kind of feel a little bit under the weather, but you know what, Brad? We're, we're still blessed and highly favored. We're still kicking it here. And we got more images to discuss and break down, man. Seeing everything in person there was amazing. But now we got to come back home, break down all the images further, get the details, and discuss the details with everyone in the class out loud. So that being said, man, today we're diving into the WWE Ultimate Edition figures that we saw at San Diego Comic-Con and break down all of those images first. And you guys know we'll do elites in another video, and then we'll probably do, like, basics and uh, different things. I th we may have to do a couple videos on the basics, man. I want to discuss the full basics, just like just the change of the basics and then I want to break down the figures themselves or maybe we can do that all in one video we will have to see but let's dive into the ultimate editions that we saw and break down all of my thoughts on these things and bring them forward so breaking it down first man we did see the WWE versus WCW Monday Night Nitro exclusive figures the ultimate edition Walmart exclusive figures of Eddie Guerrero and Mankind are the first ultimate editions that we're going to see out of this set you guys know the Ruthless Aggression era is out we are now focusing on the Attitude era or the WCW versus versus WWF era, and we have the Monday Night War set. We have the Monday Night War set now taking place over the Ruthless Aggression. We're breaking down the Eddie Guerrero. Now, this is just a grayed out render here. We don't know exact gear it's going to be, you know. We, we have ideas, but this looks to be a fantastic upgrade from the last Ed Eddie Guerrero that we saw, the Target Exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero. This looks to be a much better version, and you guys saw that we did get the update in skin tone from Dominic Mysterio from his Elite 89 figure to his Elite 105 figure. And so I do believe they did say that Eddie Guerrero should get this same treatment. So Eddie Guerrero should be a lot better the second go around. You guys can already see by the torso mold here. It is going to be WCW Eddie Guerrero here. He's going to come with the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. You guys remember way back in his Hall of Fame figure, it came with the WWE version, I do believe. So it is cool to finally see this figure fixed up here. I don't know what gear it's going to be, obviously, but this is a good start to our Ultimate Editions. I like the interchangeable head sculpts. You got the pissed off. You have the talking one, and then you have the pissed off. Should be a good addition. Can't wait to see the packaging on this guy as well. Next up, we do have Mankind here. Finally getting a Mankind Ultimate Edition. Very interesting because he comes with the WWF Championship. This does look like it's going to to be a brand new WWF Championship. Now, I don't know exactly what they're going to change about it, but this does look like we're getting a brand new torso, and I'm guessing this is going to come with a cloth good shirt. I, maybe we're going to get a cloth good shirt to go with this Mankind figure. You got the yelling expression with the teeth missing. You have the smirking, smiling head sculpt. And then you do have a head sculpt that you can pull the mask off, it looks like. And we may have a bit of a two-in-one here where you can go singlet Mankind or Cactus Jack Mick Foley. And then you can go shirt on M Mankind Mick Foley. So, lots of different things you can play around with this figure. Of course, we don't know what the details are yet. We don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but we have an idea, right? We have an idea of what we're probably going to get here and I look forward to it. I mean, it pretty much looks like it's going to be a better version and a, a, a more accurate, better version of the Defining Moments, except without the tax, pretty much, is what it looks like to me. So we will have to see about that, but it does look nice. I'm interested to see where we go from here and what colorations we get and where this thing goes. Next Ultimate Edition set that we saw, guys, is the Coliseum Collection Series number three. Now, we already knew these guys were coming. We have Hot Rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper here, and then we do have George the Animal Steel. A very interesting addition to our Ultimate Editions. I think it's great. You know, we get some cool accessories so you get the freaking turnbuckle with the stuffing coming out. You get the cloth goods. You get everything you want to have out of a uh, out of a George the Animal Steel. The hair texture here with like the photo graphics or photo real tech going on. The green tongue. A lot of cool stuff going on with the George the Animal Steel. And the Hot Rod Roddy Piper. You guys know that I've been begging for a Ultimate Edition Roddy Piper figure from Mattel. So this fits, checks all the boxes for me. You got the kilt. You got the shirt. It is supposed to be accurate to his LJN figure. So that's why the shirt doesn't have the red, you know, the red lining around it or the collars or the cuffs. So this should be great. I'm looking forward to this. We've already seen these, but we did get some new images and stuff. So I did want to sort through these, talk about them, look at them, and take a closer look at them. But I am looking forward to this set. Hopefully, I think this is supposed to go up for pre-order in September. If my memory serves me correctly, I, did, I do believe they did say September for this set. Next up, we have the new Legends Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition 
Ultimate Warrior. Now, I cannot remember the event here, but this figure looks pretty damn good, man. And I know we have a lot of Ultimate Warriors. I think him and Bret Hart have the most Ultimate Editions, maybe Hulk Hogan as well. But you have a beautiful looking duster. They did give him the Macho Man and Hulk Hogan tan treatment. You know, it kind of fits in there. But this, these colors pop off so nice, man. The neon colors really pop off here. You have the airbrush designs going on. Really cool gear here. I really like this warrior a lot. The screaming expression doesn't have as much likeness as we've seen on other warriors, but I don't know how well this figure is going to do. You guys know that his last figure didn't do that great at retail shelves. Kind of seems like it hangs around a little bit, but this one does seem to be better. I think this one's much better. The head sculpts are better, and I think this one's going to have a better selling space other than the other Ultimate Warrior. And I think I like this gear better. I, I don't know about that firsthand, but I do like the way this looks. You got a lot of details going on with it, and I know a lot of people are Ultimate Warrior collectors, and we're getting another Ultimate Warrior here for Ultimate Editions. This figure actually was shown off before Comic-Con. This is like went up for pre-order. The images got leaked online before Comic-Con officially opened on Wednesday on preview night. Then we have a bit of a weird one. I think this is probably the weirdest one for me. It is the Ultimate Edition Yokozuna. And we're not only getting one, but we're getting two different versions here. You have the black belt, and then you have the white belt Yokozuna. Everything else is the exact same. We did see this figure on display at, at Comic-Con. On display there, it was a hand-painted prototype, I do believe. And this one's interesting. It is going to be the next Legends Target exclusive. So I do believe the next Target exclusive for the legends and the ultimate edition is going to be the rock and the track suit and then we have the ultimate warrior and then we're going to get yokozuna and he does have the chase figure here and i don't know how damn well this figure is going to do man i'm very interested to see how well this figure performs at retail and i think i'm going to have to play the long game on this one i'll get mine for review we'll break down probably the chase and the regular and then for my second copy of these figures i'm gonna i'm gonna play the long game on it we do get some new torso stuff you do get the butterfly joints very interesting here but i'm excited to see what this thing looks like when it finally comes out I know we did get the prototype there, but, you know, I want to see everything wrapped up. And I do want to see the chase figure, but let me know your thoughts down below on a Yokozuna Ultimate Edition. Then this one right here really broke me, man. This one right here may be one of my favorite figures that was shown off, or it's definitely... I'm definitely very excited for this figure, man. It is the Pitch Black Match Bray Wyatt Monstrous, whatever the hell you want to call this thing, man. You have the interchangeable, like, glow-in-the-dark look for Bray Wyatt. He's going to have, like, this blue skin with, like, the neon paint looking. He's got the face paint and everything, and then he has the interchangeable regular Bray Wyatt arm and head sculpt. And then he has his like masked head sculpt. So a lot of cool things going on with this figure. I don't think we can really judge it based on the render images. It looks great, but I don't think we can really judge it until we see it in person. See what it looks like. Maybe if you put a black light with it, maybe it'll really make it pop off the shelf. I hope that they put some sort of technology in there with that. I hope they don't use the damn stumpy legs from the Fiend figure. Hopefully we get some newly sculpted legs, but I'm most definitely excited for this figure. He's got a smile going there. I, I mean, on render, on on paper, this figure looks immaculate, but we'll have to see when we finally get it in hand, of course. But we do have some really interesting things going on here. I remember discussing this figure with Mattel after he came out at the Royal Rumble like this, and I was actually there in person for this, so I'm actually excited to see what comes of this figure and all those different things. So I'm looking forward to this Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt. And then we have a figure that I'm very excited for, man. We have the updated Roman Reigns figure, man. So this figure is going to be the best of the Roman Reigns. It does look like it's going to be coming with a brand new torso, a a brand new leg mold, a brand new boot mold, and they did say this. They announced it. They said this is a brand new Roman Reigns. It's going to have a newly sculpted torso. I do believe it's going to come with a new head sculpt. It does come with the yelling head sculpt. You get the you get the two titles. You get the necklace, and apparently he is going to have newly sculpted boots, which I'm excited for because you guys know that I've always hated those Roman Reigns shield boots and legs, so hopefully this will be the turning of a new page. We'll finally get some brand new legs and shoes that we've been waiting on forever, and also this torso looks really good. This is the, I do believe this is the Hogan torso in this render, but remember last time they showed off this render, they showed that, and then they ended up going back to the old ripped up torso, so hopefully this one will stick, and they did announce it, so I imagine it'll stick, but you never know, I guess. He does have the We The One hands, he has his gauntlet punch hand, and he does have the mic holding hand, but I'm looking forward to this a lot. Hopefully they give this guy a new elite torso as well, I'd like to see them do that. Not only should his ultimate get the treatment, we should also get a new elite torso for a Roman Reigns, but I'm very excited for the Roman Reigns update. Moving on, we also saw the Coliseum Collection. Collection series number four with Jim the Anvil Nightheart and Bret Hart here. We also got to see prototypes of these figures on display, and they are going to come with the tag team championships and the older versions of said championships, which are really cool. You know, I didn't think that the head sculpts on the Bret Hart were the best. You know, I think the anvil looks really good. You know, we, we, we do have the hand-painted prototypes there. At least I think they're hand-painted prototypes. Head sculpts don't look the most accurate, but I do believe those will update. I think that the figures, other than that, 
do look pretty good. I like the formulas going on with them. I think you do get differentiation in the size of these guys. I like the white and pink. Like all the different, all the different stuff looks good. This is pretty much the Elite 42 Anvil and the Elite 43 Bret Hart from way long ago, just updated. And those figures were honestly kind of mid. Like they, they didn't get the job done as far as details. Hopefully the Ultimate Editions will serve us better. And also Bret Hart, this is makes his what like fourth Ultimate that he's getting. So Bret Hart is getting a lot of love in the Ultimate Edition line. But we do have both of these guys in Coliseum Collection. Series 4. I didn't expect these guys in Coliseum Collection Series 4 either. I expected other people, but I guess I don't know what to expect out of the Coliseum Collection line, but I do enjoy these figures. I think they're solid additions, and I can't wait to see who Series 5 is, you know? So, we are awaiting to see what we get next. Next up is the Fan Takeover Rey Mysterio. Now, we did not see the Fan Takeover Seth Rollins, but this figure just pissed me off, man. I remember when we voted, I said, God in heaven, I don't want Shield Seth Rollins, and I don't want debut Rey Mysterio, man. We have this figure pretty much in elite figure form, and they did do some cool stuff here. Like, I like the Ultimate Edition Rey, the Ruthless Aggression one. We reviewed it on the channel. I do like the way that figure feels in hand. I like the torso. I like all those different things. This red does look good, but we pretty much have this in the Royal Rumble Elite line. The graphics are just slightly changed, and it has an Ultimate Edition torso, of course. But they did add a brand new head sculpt here with the hands attached, and it's like pulling his mask down. So that's what that's supposed to be with the hands attached to the mask. It's supposed to be a, a pretty much head sculpt that attaches to the hands that you can like pose him pretty much putting on his mask. So I guess it's cool. It's I mean, it's, a, it's pretty much a repaint with a new head sculpt or two. They added that Royal Rumble Elite head sculpt in here as well pretty much repainted maybe i don't know the exact color scheme of that figure but it is a red long pants ray mysterio from this era but i don't know let me know what you guys think i really wanted a modern ray for this but i guess you know we'll just have to wait on that one and i'm sure that'll come down the line at some juncture but i hope to god the shield seth rollins didn't win the boat when we're talking about the fan takeover seth rollins figure and then actually the last ultimate edition in series 20 with roman reigns and bray wyatt is going to be oscar and we've been waiting on an oscar ultimate edition for a really long time she's got her face paint in there and you guys know the bills is going to go over the top for this Asuka figure as he is a massive Asuka fan. Beautiful looking gear here. This is her Royal Rumble gear, I do believe. She comes with a robe. She's got her mask. Toyetic as hell. She's got the butterfly joints. This figure may be the best women's Mattel figure they've ever done. I think you could say that. She's got her zebra print in there. Tons of details going on with this figure. And I look forward to this one a lot, man. I think this is going to be a really great figure. You have some cool colors going on. The ombre hair. I mean, this is very Toyetic. I think they nailed this Asuka. I'm, I'm very much excited for this. And she is going to come with her robe. So this figure's got all the bells and whistles. This one should not be one that you sleep on, Brad. You definitely want to get your hands on this one. And not to mention, she has the zebra print on her kick pads as well. I mean, this is a purchase through and through, no doubts about it. This one is going to be a beast, and this is one we've been wanting with the face paint, another Royal Rumble gear, so this one is fire. This one is absolute fire. This is must cop. Next up, we also saw Ultimate Edition images of the Kurt Angle figure. This is Ultimate Edition updated images because we did see this back in LA at WrestleMania Superstore, and we did see it at the Mattel Design Center and all that different stuff, and this figure does look good. I love that they went with the cloth singlet. I do think he's a bit too jacked. Now, I did pre-order this figure a lot because I'm going to update this guy. You guys know that this is right in my wheelhouse. Early 2000s Kurt Angle is my money zone. It's one of my favorites of all time. Kurt Angle is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, so I am going to be surgering this guy. We're going to put the smaller torso. I think the Macho Man torso is going to do better on this guy. We'll play around with formulas. We're going to definitely mess around, see what we can come up up with, but I do like the cloth singlet. Maybe I can get some different stuff from PWR Lucha and make this guy look even better. I hate that they didn't go with, you know, we didn't get any new Kurt Angle elites. We didn't see any new Kurt Angle figures at all. It's just the Ultimate Edition. I'd love to see a new Kurt Angle brought up very soon. I don't know how, you know, when that'll be, but Unforgiven 01 Kurt Angle is one I'd like to see. I just want to see those boots made in Mattel figure form. I don't really care for the big knee pads either. This is a new knee pad mold from what I'm sitting here, and I do like this gear. It's a great gear. You know, it's solid. I like the entrance grates head sculpt, even though it's old. I'm not a huge fan of the crying head sculpt, to be honest. I think it's unique, but it's not one that I necessarily would want, and I think it could have went with his Unforgiven 01 gear, right? But you do have, like, the stoic face, which isn't the best either. I think that's like an old basic head sculpt. And the metals, I don't know, something about the metals doesn't look accurate. I want to say they were green, not American stripe at this time, but I could be wrong. I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember off the top of the dome, but nonetheless, it's still a beautiful looking figure. I, I am excited for it just to fix it up and see what we can do. And he does have the, the trunks painted on, but I am going to fix this guy up. We're going to fix him up, see what we can do. We may not be able to do anything worth a damn, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it. We're going to see what we can do, and maybe we can make some really fire fix-ups, but we will have to wait and see. But I am excited about the figure in a way, but I'm also disappointed 
stated that, it, you know, I think that it could be a lot better, and I am awaiting other Kurt Angle figures, but, you know, you can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Now, next up, we did see Bianca Belair, who is in the same set. It's Bobby Lashley, Bianca Belair, and Kurt Angle, and this Bianca Belair looks really, really good. Her figures are always very good. Ever since her first Elite, they've been on fire, you know, with the addition of the double-jointed arms. I think it was Elite, what, 91 or something like that. That figure was really good as well. This Ultimate Edition looks good. She's got the Ultimate Boots. She has the Fire Gear going on. Great head sculpt. Got the fur jacket. I mean, this is a beast. This is a really, really good gear. Kind of reminds me of like Harlem Heat or something going on with this gear. Very sweet. Very, very sweet figure of Bianca Belair. I think this is going to be a good Ultimate Edition, and it's a good serviceable Ultimate Edition for our collections, and I think her elites can compete with this figure. I know you get the cloth goods and the different stuff, but she doesn't have the butterfly joints on this figure just yet. She didn't get that treatment that's starting in Ultimate Edition Series 20 with Asuka, but it's still a really cool figure. I do like this one, and uh, I don't know. I may switch out the knee pads just to give me a little bit more of a deep cut there, but I guess it's not the biggest deal because you do lose the designs, but I hate big knee pads, man. They really limit the articulation, but nonetheless, the Bianca Belair figure does look good, and then we do round out this set with the Ultimate Edition Bobby Lashley. Now, I made a joke saying that I'm going to get one of these, I'm going to acetone the designs off, and then I'm going to put some Golden Arches logos on there and make a McDonald's Bobby Lashley, and now that I've spoken into existence, got to make it happen, Brad. We got to make McDonald's Bobby Lashley with like a McDonald's shirt and a McDonald's championship just for the sake of it. Like, just since I've deemed this Bobby Lashley McDonald's Ultimate Edition. Gotta do it. I also am noticing that the boots are newly sculpted, at least those feet are, or they may be utilizing like a Cody Rhodes foot, like Ultimate Edition feet on this guy, which is very unique. Didn't notice that until just now, so that's pretty cool, but you know, it's a different take. Not my favorite gear, but I still am looking forward to the McDonald's All-American Bobby Lashley figure. We're gonna definitely fix this guy up. Should be interesting now. Now I'm excited for that. I gotta get a McDonald's title in the works, get some decals printed. We're gonna make this guy, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it, Lashley. Now completing Ultimate Edition Series 19, we're flipping over to the Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition set. Now we do know that we have Bret Hart and Roddy Piper in Series 1, and then Eddie Guerrero and Mankind are Series 2 of the Ultimate Edition. So we are looking at Roddy Piper here. Now this one is beautiful. I love this figure. This was one of my favorite figures shown off. I think they nailed it here. You get the reality check shirt. I really like the short haircut here. Reminds me a lot of the Toy Biz Roddy Piper, if anybody remembers that figure. I think I bought mine from like Family Dollar in like 2000, 2001 or something like that. Beautiful jacket. I love this jacket mold. I think you could easily make other characters with this jacket as well. Like how many people can you put in the leather jacket now using this Roddy Piper? I think this might be one of those that you strike down every time you you see it. You get the kilt in there. This kilt's actually longer than the one that they sent for display here. So some of this stuff that you see on display, and that goes for elites as well. Some of the stuff you see on display, it was a sample that they got back from the factory early for Comic-Con, and some of the things aren't accurate. So they're going to be back in the office to fix those things if they're not truly accurate. So that is the case here with this kilt. But I really like the Roddy Piper. You even get the men on cards shot of it. Very sick figure, man. That, that, that one smiling head sculpt kind of reminds me of Mark Wahlberg. But I'm much looking for... I don't know which Roddy Piper I'm looking forward to more. The freaking reality check Roddy Piper or the uh, Hot Rod Roddy Piper. I think they're both iconic in their own way. Looking forward to it a lot, man. Should be fun with the leather jacket. And then on the other side of that, you do have Bret Hart, who is also in this set. And this Bret Hart, this is the second Ultimate Edition Bret Hart that we saw just in this reveal here with the Ultimate Editions. But it's a solid-looking figure. Head sculpts just don't get the job done, man. I do not know what it is about damn Bret Hart figures. Another leather jacket here, which looks good. I like that we're getting a black and pink attire. You know, we've seen a lot of these things in Elite form, but getting it in Ultimate form is cool. We have, like, black on pink. We have pink on pink. We have the black on pink with the, you know, the Coliseum collection. Then we go back to black on black. So we're getting a lot of different iterations of Bret Hart, which is awesome. Uh, not my biggest favorite, you know, Ultimate Edition head sculpts. I just feel like they do Bret Hart so dirty here. He's got the silver glasses. You know, it'll be a serviceable figure, but uh, the head sculpts just don't do it, man. I think the Elite 94 is their best shot at Bret Hart, but here, I'm, I just don't like these head sculpts. You guys can let me know what you think down below, but I am not a big fan of that one. We're moving on to the Eric Bischoff, and another Ultimate Edition, another reuse of the leather jacket, and I think it's accurate. Everybody back then was rocking leather jackets, man. Leather jackets were the thing, and I mean, to a, to a certain degree, they still are, but you couldn't walk outside without seeing jean jackets 
or leather jackets back in the day, man. But this is a really good looking young Bischoff. I like the jeans, the dry brush here. Very cool. You get the NWO shirt and you get the white tee underneath and you get the sleeveless arms and you get the Donald Trump looking head sculpt. Tell me that doesn't look like a Donald Trump head sculpt there with the young Bish Bischoff. That looks just like it. That facial expression and everything like the, the puckered lip a little bit. But you get the mic, you get the ring. You know, we know about the ring. I hate that we have to buy a ring to get this Ultimate Edition Bischoff, but I'm definitely copping it. You know, I already got my Ruthless Aggression version. Now I got to get my other version. So plenty of Eric Bischoffs to go around. Hopefully we're not done. I'd like to see an older Eric Bischoff as well, maybe in a builder figure line somewhere somewhere or something like that but we did see the ultimate edition all the wcw versus wwf monday night wars ultimate editions we got to see all of those on display there which is really cool and i do believe that's all the ultimate editions man i think that is every single ultimate edition we did not see any other ultimate editions shown off i think in total i think we saw like 19 ultimate editions but most of them we had already seen before in some capacity whether it be a gray render or something like that like we didn't know about that ultimate warrior we didn't know about yokozuna or the chase we didn't know about bray Wyatt. we didn't know about a new roman we didn't know about the oscar we didn't know about the fan takeover Rey mysterio or at least what it was and then we didn't know about the mankind ultimate i don't think so maybe we did i can't remember but we saw 19 total whether we had seen them before or not and that's very interesting you know we didn't get any hogan ultimates but by god did we get elites and other things of Hulk Hogan, for the love of God. But we're adding a lot of people to our Ultimate Edition lines, man. It should be very interesting moving forward. I want to know down below, though, what you guys thought of all of these reveals. What did you think of the Ultimate Edition so far? Again, we're going to do this for Elites. We're going to do this for the other figures as well. And I do believe we're going to be reviewing the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Sting figure. I managed to grab two of those at Comic-Con. So we are going to be breaking down that figure, reviewing it here on the channel, of course seeing what that figure is all like. But that is going to pretty much wrap up this video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of the Ultimate Editions. What did you think of Comic-Con overall, man? Did you think that it was a successful Comic-Con? Did you think that it was too repetitive? I think that we got a really lot of unique things, and that'll probably be more apparent when we get to the Elite's coverage, of course, but... Today was all about the Ultimate Editions, and I want to know where all of you guys stand down below. But before we get out of here, man, a huge shout-out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout-out to Courtney Spencer for becoming an Extreme Division member of the MDT Patreon page. Really appreciate you, bro. And, of course, another shout-out to all of our MDT patrons over there. If you guys are interested, check the link in the description below. But I am getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of these things down in the comment section below. Break it down with me. Let me know your thoughts. But I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. We'll never back down. We will not relent.